Hi, I'm Chris Bird with the Bird's Eye View. Here to talk about Tomas Adamek and Dominic Gwynn. Heavyweight matchup. Good matchup, you know, but more for Dominic, not Dominic Gwynn, but Adamek to win. Of course, get some work in. You know, Dominic Gwynn, tough guy, former, you know, top contender. You know, I just think he came in looking to strike it, <laughs> strike it rich, really, some luck, get a knockout. With uh, you know, with him not in great shape, still dangerous though. Been fighting, fighting a lot of guys, going the distance, never been knocked out. You know, and always come with a great right hand and, and just always dangerous. But not in a in a win situation. I can tell being 243 pounds, that's pretty big for Dominic Gwynn. You know, that, he's not a big heavyweight. He's a mainly a small heavyweight that can knock out the big heavyweights, but. You know, but for Tom, Tomas Adamek, great boxing. You know, got some work in, got 10 rounds in. First couple rounds, first three rounds, a little shaky though. You know, uh, Dominic Wynn stole a round there, and he was hitting uh, Adamek with, you know, good right hands. And, you know, Dominic Wynn could punch. But then Adamek, after the third round, started putting combinations together and, and movement and really flustered. Dominic Gwynn to, to the point of just covering up. And when he cover up, he throw combinations and then get out. Smart, smart tactic. And in order for, for uh, Adamek to really compete with the bigger heavyweights in the division, he got to do just that. If you notice, he, do, he throw a flicking jab. Uh, just a flicking jab real fast. Three or four jab fast. Make you cover up. Throw the combinations. Footwork out. He's out. Great movement. I mean, he looked really good over 10 rounds. He did it for 10 rounds, you know, and he's not a, a small, I was a small heavyweight. Eddie Chambers was, you know, a small heavyweight. He's a mid-size, 220, 225 type heavyweight and throwing hand speed and have movement like that. He's still really in the mix of things. I mean, to me personally, not who he fighting, but how he looked, it was good work because he's going to need that going into the, Fights with the bigger heavyweights, like I said, you know, over 10, 12 rounds. If he keep that movement up and, and combination, he's going to beat a lot of guys. I mean, even a lot of top guys. I think he's coming back, reinventing himself to be one of the major contenders in the division. Good work. Good work from Adam Mick. You know, he moves on, and I think he'll get into the major title mix. So you got the bird's eye view. Thanks a lot.